Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. The 100th anniversary celebration of St. John Paul II's birthday will take place on May 17, 2020 at the Vatican. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Pope Francis. Archbishop Stanislaw Gadetsky, president of the Polish Bishops' Conference, encouraged dioceses, parishes, and various communities to organize pilgrimages to Rome for the 100th anniversary of St. John Paul II's birth. Karol Józef Watila was born in the Polish town of Wadowice in 1920. Anglican Bishop Gavin Ashenden was received into full communion with the Catholic Church by Bishop Mark Davies at Shrewsbury Cathedral on Sunday. He will serve the Church as a lay Catholic theologian. His wife, Helen Ashenden, became a Catholic two years ago in the Shrewsbury Diocese. Gavin Ashenden served as a chaplain to Queen Elizabeth from 2008 to 2017. He also served as a member of the General Synod of the Church of England for 20 years. Bishop Mark Davies says it has been a special joy to accompany Gavin in the last steps of a long journey to be at home in the Catholic Church. Ashenden believes that the Catholic Church could play an important role in defending traditional moral values against aggressive secularism in Britain. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI has launched a foundation for Catholic journalism in Germany. The foundation is named Tagespost Foundation for Catholic Journalism, and its goal is to provide financial help for training young journalists and to aid the research projects in the field of biomedicine, including the ethical issues. The foundation aims to raise a half a million dollars in the year 2020. The former pontiff said that he wants the Catholic voice to be heard. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI led the Church from 2005 until his resignation in 2013. Bishop George Paliparumbul has been elected to lead the Office of Evangelization in Asia for a period of three years by the Federation of Asian Bishops Conference. He will oversee the work of evangelization for 19 member bishops and eight associate member bishops conferences across Asia. Former Chairman for the Office of Evangelization, Archbishop Emeritus Thomas Menemperimpol expressed joy over the appointment. He said having an intense experience in the field of evangelization over several decades in a sensitive corner of Asia, Bishop Paliperimpol will be able to make a major contribution to the office entrusted to him. Speaking at his Angelus on the fourth and last Sunday of Advent, Pope Francis urged Christians to emulate the values of St. Joseph. The Pope said that we all should have St. Joseph-like obedience and trust in God in the most difficult times of our life. He said, the gospel guides us towards Christmas through the experience of St. Joseph, a figure apparently of secondary importance, but in whose attitude is enclosed all Christian wisdom. The Pope extended his Christmas wishes to everyone and said that this is the time for family members to reunite and also an opportunity for the Church to grow in faith and to serve the poor and needy. After the Angelus, he greeted the pilgrims who visited St. Peter's Square. From all of us here at Shalom World, we wish you a very Merry and Holy Christmas, and we hope you enjoy our Christmas programming for all ages. Thank you for your support, and remember to stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.